why don't we start off by just talking about what exactly you guys have displayed at the Aero Show? Ma'am, thank you so much for having me on. It was really a very historic day because it was uh, the largest ever Series A raise at $22 million. And we are very excited. And we also had the principal scientific advisor to the defense minister unveiling our Suraj drone, which is a solar-powered high-altitude a surveillance and reconnaissance drone, which has a lot of intelligence added into it. Uh, we are also presenting our Vajra drone, which created a lot of buzz at the Defense Expo when we launched it. We have uh, Lockheed Martin as our partner there. Uh, we've also uh, presented our uh, DGCA approved type certified uh, Kisan drone, uh, which the Prime Minister had launched uh, last year in February. So it is a uh, very exciting times to be in the drone sector because we are seeing a sustainable asset light uh, uh, unit economic focus business models like Garuda Aerospace having a lot of traction. So that is really interesting and I'm sure that's been keeping you on your toes. Now let's talk about that mammoth fundraise because I know that's something you want to address. $22 million, the largest ever Series A fundraising in the drone sector. It's Sipti Cap that's invested about $12 million and there's been you know participation from some of the other global net uh, uh, investors and HNIs. Can you tell us more about the fundraise? Absolutely. I mean, uh, our uh, Series A fundraise started uh, a little late last year. Our goal was to raise about $30 million. So we're still uh, looking for about 7 to $8 more million million from investors. But yes, Spithy Cap has taken the lead, uh, investing $12 million. Uh, what really uh, enthused them about Garuda Aerospace is our business model, our uh, the sustainability, and where we are focused on, which is the B2B as well as the B2C segment. Uh, we are addressing a $3 billion market size into precision agricultural drones for which there has been a lot of progressive government policies by the uh, uh, Ministry for Agriculture as well as Farmers Welfare. Uh, they've also put in a lot of drone uh, loans as well as uh, subsidies for drones, which has enabled a lot of rural entrepreneurs and farmers across the country to have access to affordable drone technology, what Garuda Aerospace has been building. And also, we are scaling over 1 lakh youngsters so we're very excited that this fundraise that we have recently raised uh, will help us to reach out to the districts and ensure that every single village has drone technology uh, uh, and ensure that we will also increase food crop productivity for farmers across India. Wow, that's pretty, uh, you know, that's a big headline as well. And, you know, the company also as well got a lot of eyeballs when you had earlier said that you had tested the drone deliveries in partnership with uh, Swiggy and, you know, you wanted to focus on, you know, executing such deliveries. So let's just talk about some of the big milestones as well that you have in store. You're talking about, you know, putting drones out there in every village. So how many do you plan to sell? Um, what is it that the countries or the geographical reach that you're looking at? I think India has a potential of about 500,000 or 5 lakh drones that it can accommodate. Uh, we hope to cater to at least 25,000 drones to be sold by 2024 for an annual turnover of 1,000 crores. That is our goal in the agriculture segment, but we've also seen a lot of traction coming in from the defense as well as the industrial space as well. Uh, very recently, we revealed our Vajra drone. Uh, we've been receiving a lot of interest from the defense forces for swarm drone technology, anti-drones, counter-drones, and tethered drones. Uh, apart from that, we've also had a lot of success in project monitoring in the industrial segment. We've uh, completed 7,000 villages under the Swamitwa scheme, which is a pet scheme of the Prime Minister of providing digital land records to rural India. So we will be utilizing all these funds to uh, pump it into a lot of more technology into AI and ML that can integrate with our drone technology that will increase efficiency and reduce expenses for our clients. That has been our primary focus. Uh, of course, uh, from a fundraise perspective, we are very uh, like you know happy with the way that despite the funding winter and despite a lot of obstacles and challenges from the global economic perspective, we've still managed to raise and are great signs for the entire Indian drone industry. Right. Okay. That's um, like really very ambitious for the company, and you're also looking to scale globally. Absolutely, ma'am. I mean, uh, it has always been. Uh, a vision of ours to make in India for the world. And uh, this particular fundraise will enable us to expand into 100 countries. Uh, by the end of 2024, we will be able to hopefully export 10,000 drones to 100 countries. A lot of it has been uh, traction in terms of the agricultural drones, which is type certified by the DGCA. We also have 
uh, training certificates from the DDCA enabled. Uh, but at the same time, we also have a lot of traction coming in for our videography drones named as Drony, which was recently launched by none other than MS Dhoni. Uh, we will definitely be looking to export these drones very shortly to all of these countries. Apart from the global expansion plans, we also intend to uh, ramp up our uh, technology partnerships with several of our partners uh, from foreign countries. And I believe that is a great opportunity for us at uh, Aero India show, uh, as well as the Defense Expo that went by last year, where we've inked partnerships with Lockheed Martin, Elbit Systems from Israel, Cognizant Technologies. So a lot more partnerships are going to be announced, which will enable a lot of uh, IP and tech modes for Garuda Aerospace to become the first ever drone unicorn startup by 2024. Yeah, I know that the former India cricket captain MS Dhoni invested in the company and yeah, a drone named after him, that's quite something. Um, now, I just want to understand what your current fleet is at, um, what's the team that you have when it comes to pilots um, and, you know, what is the outlook uh, on that front? Well, uh, we have the largest drone fleet in India with over 400 drones. Uh, we have a team of about 250 full-time employees with us. We also have about 450 contract pilots uh, spread across 26 different cities. Um, we feel that um, this bandwidth of uh, pilots as well as drones is enabling us to execute a lot of pan-India operations. Uh, we've been uh, expanding rapidly. We've been uh, launching a drone Yatra 2.0, where we're going to every single district throughout the country, ensuring that there is massive awareness that is made for uh, indigenous drone technology. Uh, we've also managed to skill a lot of young students, especially in rural India, women in particular as well, 47% of the uh, youngsters who are enrolling into our drone training programs are young women. So we feel that dro uh, drones are going to be uh, gender agnostic. It will also be sector agnostic because you're seeing precision agricultural technology, mining, uh, the defense sectors, project monitoring, structural damage inspections. All across India, you are seeing drones being utilized for various different purposes. So I believe that uh, the game of drones has just begun and we have a great road ahead for the next three years. And I believe that drone technology is definitely going to be uh, one of the stalwarts for India. And India is heading towards becoming a global drone hub by 2030. And Garuda Aerospace is proud to contribute to that journey. Wow, you've given me a nice top band, the game of drones, I like it. Now, you know, you also had that drone as a service startup, I understand, and that's likely to hit a valuation of about 50,000 crores in the next two years? Well, that is a goal, but you know, ma'am, we don't chase valuations. Uh, while we have an internal goal of becoming the first ever drone unicorn startup, we believe that when we impact 1 billion lives positively using indigenous drone technology, I believe that the valuations will automatically take care of itself. Our focus is to be a unit economic uh, focused, asset light, uh, sector agnostic and recession proof business model. If anything has taught us uh, over the last couple of years during the COVID as well as the economic slowdown, it is that sustainable startups which uh, with a clear focus on profitability always stands the test of time. And that is what Garuda Aerospace is doing. We were profitable last year. We will be profitable this year as well. And we will continue to be profitable in the future to ensure that all the investors that are in investing into us feel very validated that we are not only returning uh, their investments multifold, but at the same time, we're impacting billions across the world.